So I wanted to start with my intentions in this video, which is who Tony uh, Home Perm is, is somebody I'm highlighting as a person who's extremely inspirational because of the way they do makeup. I do not like makeup, um, but I love watching them do it because they have a skill at it. Um, and I think maybe it's envy, like, you're not in an envious, like, oh, I wish I were better with makeup. It's like, wow, people really enjoy that. And it's coming from a side in an angle where I'm, I suffer gender dys dysphoria. So um, this, is, this is something Christians don't talk about and that's something they're going to address. But uh, I wanted to kind of do this with a backdrop of somebody who's very inspiring, an amazing human being. This is not about um, about knowing the reality they live in or, or claiming they suffer what I suffer or that they feel like they suffer at all. What I'm saying is um, what I see, what I feel, and what I understand when I watch them and why I, I enjoy it personally. It's probably not for all people who are maybe conflicted, uh, but for me, I'll explain that. I just want when they have the makeup on, I think they present or their pronouns change when their makeup is off. They're different in their pronouns. I'm not really sure, honestly. Um, but I'm gonna leave the video with um them singing because I think very talented, and I'll explain. Here they are. Everybody, it's me, Tony Homeperm, the singing diva of Long Island, and I'm gonna be going live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, and I'm gonna be creating a look with my She Glam Loving Libra palette. Yes, this is for all you Libra babies. This is the palette that I'm going to be using to create my Libra-inspired look. And again, that's today at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Can't wait to see you all there. I want to reiterate that this is just my perception of reality. This is not about, you know, projecting upon anybody else. I don't understand the place or the mind of another person. But when I watch Tony, not only do they bring me happiness and joy, but they also remind me that they seem to wield femininity, femininity in a way I've never really understood. And they seem to be understanding a club that I was supposed to be in, but I'm not. And nor do I want to be in. Like, I'm not even trying to be a dude eater. It's just, I don't understand it. I do think the word envy would apply for how I uh, look at men or uh, like men. Um, it's a little deeper than just loving them, I think. And it's no more than when people maybe envy Elon. They look at him and go, wow, it must be cool to be him. You're not trying to be him. It's similar to that, um, where I'm not trying to be a transgender person. But I can, I think the envy goes a little further than just, oh, I really love men. You know, it's, it's way deeper than that. It's way deeper. Sometimes in life as a Christian, there are things that will come up in your life pretty regularly that will look you back in the face. And make you, you know, and confront you and always be testing you and seeing where you sit in these certain arenas. And I'm simply just, as I have for the last four years, whatever's, you know, kind of on my heart or on my mind or on my spirit. I did take a whole week to think about this. I really debated whether or not to showcase um, what some Christians would say is a little out of the box. I, and, and that's okay. I, I think that you can appreciate somebody's artist, artist expression and talents. But also realize there are people in this world who have and still embrace life in a way that maybe as Christians we have been taught not to or maybe that's a soft, um, false assumption that we have as Christians that we're not supposed to like life or something, but I don't. And Tony does like life, you know. They take all of their talents and they go full force with the things they feel passionately about and the things that they love. And I don't really, outside of Christ, feel passionately about anything. There's very little that I care about anywhere near what this human being loves and embraces about this type of culture, lifestyle, or artist expression. And I think that you can objectively look at um, people who are taking life by the both horns, I guess, and, you know, fully acting it out and living it out and knowing that, you know, hey, I appreciate that. I see you. I understand that you have something like a fire and a flame. I don't really, I don't know if I've ever felt ever. And it can be so complicated. There's not words for it or a statement or a little five minute video that can explain the complex feeling that sometimes you, you come across. The point of the video is that as a Christian, God will make a way for you to survive complicated feelings and emotions that you don't even have words for, you can't really understand, and God can walk you through that. He can um, patch up all the places where 
you don't even know you have wounds. This is Home Life Crisis King Forever. I'm going to leave you with um, this amazing person. So here's, and here's one of my favorites from the 80s. Make happy with you. times we had sharing a joy that we thought would last memories of love and affection hopefully it was just like a dream was it the simple thing made me so crazy about you was it your charm or your passion it's not hard to believe I love you and I need you so I sending you forget me nots to help you to remember then please forget me not I want you to remember sending you forget me nots to help you to remember Forget me not. I want you to remember. Did we give up too soon? Maybe we needed just a little room. Wondering how it all happened. Maybe we just need a little time. Though we did end this friend. Given the chance we could love again She'll always love you forever It's not hard to believe I want you and I need you So I'm sending you forget-me-nots To help you to remember Then please forget me not I want you to remember Forget me not. Forget me not. <laughs> song. I love that song. Love that song.